so hello guys what's up and welcome back once again to my youtube channel and to my page so my name is villa mama and this is villa mama tv so guys i came across this video and it got me thinking and i thought it wise to share it with you guys it's about a young man who was invited to a church like his friend invited him to a church and he went there and they were doing a donation and he wanted to donate a hundred thousand naira and instead he made a mistake with the zeros and added one more zero so it became one million naira and he was asking the pastor the daddy g of that church to refund his nine hundred thousand that he just wanted to donate only a hundred thousand naira but it became a whole big issue okay so i want you guys to watch the video and i'll come back with the rest of my thoughts I said, I'll be asking you to refund me the 900,000. And the people telling me, go to God and collect some money. It's a spiritual matter, it's a spiritual that. I'm going to inform the, the police. And they are here to do their job. So I'm not here to fight. So and that's where you got it from. Because okay. you took spiritual matters to the hands of the police. Uh, Listen, the Bible says, touch not my anointed and do my prophet. I'm not touched you. Nobody uh, touch you. Nobody you came with armed men to touch me. Pastor. Uh, you're talking with God, though. Pastor. <laughs> Pastor, please. Uh, like I said earlier, we are police officers, and um, you have the right to remain silent. But Pastor, can I explain? Uh, uh, you will explain, please. Can I explain myself? You will explain. You have to explain myself. Let me warn you. So that you have let me warn you. Let me warn you earlier that you don't have right to say anything or do anything for whatever you do or say here and now will be used against you in the court of law. Yes, but I have the right to explain. What yes, you have said it. Can, 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 can I say my own now? Yes, you can. Well, give me some Tell time. us what transpired. Okay. But the you call yourself this and God be upon you, God. Now listen. This man, he came to my church. He came to my church and we were doing a donation. God touched him. I never touched him. I never forced him. I never compelled anybody sitting in the church to give a dime. He stood up. With the leading of the Holy Spirit, he came and he donated some money to God. Well, you know, God is a man that he is not a man, but he searched the heart of every man and know the content of it. He gave God over 100,000, but God knows he has more than 100,000 to give. You see how God moves? And how God came, did he tell you? Did he tell you that it was God that asked him to send 100 instead of 10,000? You know, he was ready to send. Officer, this is a spiritual matter. It's a very highly spiritual matter. It's, the, it's not spiritual. It's physical. He takes his decision, and that is why we are here. We are going to put it in writing in our office that God taught you. You will explain exactly how God does this and so on. Go ahead, please. In the first place, I'm not his member. Okay. Okay. Somebody invited me. Okay. And because of the project that is going on, was going on in the church, I was led in the spirit to transfer, to give them 100,000. And I mistakenly transferred one million. He called it a mistake. <laughs> he called it a mistake. Okay, okay. Oh, you, okay. It was one million in transfer instead of one. And I was telling him, Pastor, I'm not sure. God. You know, I'm just, I'm just embarrassed. I'm the fact that he I'm called it a mistake. Uh, but God did this in, in his own way. Pastor, <laughs> on a serious note, yes. he said, in quotes, hmm. he wished to transfer one million dollars. And what he transferred was one thing. And wish. that's a mistake. And that's a mistake. mistake. The wish and one is not the wish of God. That's why you have to yeah, be a person. Mr. Mary, what the message is of God? Uh, officer, officer, arrest him for fraudulent act. You have to be careful. I'm a spiritual man. I have powers. I have powers. Your parents have gone into the room with the police. So you have to touch me. You have to touch me. Please, I'm going to take you back. I'm going to touch you. No, no, no. Listen. You have to tell this man. Hey, the police are here. like this is spiritual matter this is spiritual matter don't touch me i'm a spiritual man i mean double skip i won't say <laughs> so when i came across this 
video i thought it was nice to share it with you guys i don't know what your thoughts your opinion is concerning this issue like like i explained before someone invited the man to the church and they were doing a donation and he was to donate a hundred thousand but he made a mistake and added the zero so he became a million naira daddy geo refund my nine hundred thousand quietly that the jail say is the work of the lord the lord works in mysterious ways is a lot to do you call it a mistake you call it a, it's a waste of the lord and the waste of the lord is not the waste of man <laughs> so he has been asking his money that the, that the jail to refund the money for the past how long i don't know and that the jail has vehemently refused to refund the money so the guy was left with no choice but to involve the police some people say it is staged they say it is um like his stage, his plan, and all of that, but I don't look at it like that because some of these pastors nowadays they are looking for means to loot finances, everything like they just want to have everything. Okay, that's how bad they have made Christianity look like. Okay, so I don't know whatever your thoughts are, you can drop them, you can share them in the comment section. And again, I was appalled by the greed of this man of God because. This was just someone who visited your church and you were doing a donation and then he opted to donate a hundred thousand and made a mistake and gave you a million naira it was only good for you or fair enough or reasonable enough for you to just refund the other nine hundred thousand like it is the greed you see the height of greed like someone is dashing you like just giving you a hundred thousand and you want to take the whole one million after he explained to you that it was a mistake so for me this whole thing i just look at the, the that the joe is very greedy he's a very greedy person and i think they will resolve it in the police station because from the look of things that is acting on a fraud it's fraudulent yeah because if someone did that and then they realized that it was a mistake the only right thing to do was for you to just refund the money back but no now you're claiming spirituality you're saying god did it god works in mysterious ways and all of that so I'm sure they'll reform, they'll, they'll, they'll resolve it in the police station and of course the guy will get his money back. So whatever your thoughts, your, your opinions are, you can feel free to drop them down below in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Bye.